Also tonight, new developments in a deadly weekend crash that killed two local teenagers. We first reported on Eyewitness News at noon. One of the four survivors of Sunday morning's tragic crash in Taunton is now facing motor vehicle homicide charges. He and three others remain in the hospital tonight as a makeshift memorial continues to grow at the scene in tribute to the two young passengers who lost their lives. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in Taunton now with the latest on the investigation. Susan and Mike, police tell us Nicholas Costa will be charged with two counts of motor vehicle homicide. He's also facing a charge for having an open container of alcohol in his car, and police say he was driving with a suspended license. Candles flicker and flowers rest among a mangled fence, marking the place where two teenagers from Taunton were killed. It just seems like more and more it just keeps happening. It's taking us young ones away too soon. Early Sunday morning, this red Honda Accord crowded with six people missed a curve on Bay Street and slammed head on into a tree. Police tell Eyewitness News alcohol was found in the car. It's sickening. It is. It's absolutely sickening. I mean, it's just plain and simple. You cannot mix gasoline and alcohol. 18-year-old Eden Macedo and 19-year-old Jason Nito were pronounced dead at Morton Hospital. The four others in the car, including the driver, 24-year-old Nicholas Costa, were rushed to Rhode Island Hospital. Taunton police tell Eyewitness News Costa was speeding and nobody in the car was wearing a seatbelt. It's a combination of uh, all bad things that add, added up to one tragedy. Uh, you have six young people that go out for night. They make some poor decisions, and, and ultimately, this is the result. Now Costa is facing several charges, including two counts of motor vehicle homicide. But we all need to like slow down and really focus more on what's really important in life. There's a lot of sad parents right now, and I can't imagine doing that to my mom and dad. All four victims who were taken to Rhode Island Hospital are still there tonight. At last check, one was in intensive care, two others were in surgery. Now, coming up new at 6, find out why the driver could be facing even more charges. Live in Taunton with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.